In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, we gather here this morning to thank the Lord again for all the gifts that he has given to us, the gift of precious life, gift of our faith. And we ask the Lord as we continue our Lenten journey to provide us with spiritual and physical health. We ask the Lord to look upon our nation and keep it safe from the, the virus and many other things that affect our people and our nation. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries let us ask the Lord for forgiveness of our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, <coughs> all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. Rejoicing in this annual celebration of our Lenten observance, we pray, O oh Lord, that with our hearts <coughs> set on the Paschal Mysteries, we may be gladdened by their four effects. Who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Now we will open up our hearts and minds to the liturgy of the Word. A reading from the prophet, from the book of the prophet Hosea. Come, let us return to the Lord. It is he who has rent, but he will heal us. He has struck us, but he will bind our wounds. He will revive us after two days. On the third day, he will raise us up <laughs> to live in his presence. Let us know, let us strive to know the Lord, as certain as the dawn is his coming, and his judgment shines forth like the light of day. He will come to us like the rain, like spring rain that waters the earth. What can I do with you, Ephraim? What can I do with you, Judah? Your pity is like a morning cloud, like the dew that early passes away. For this reason, <coughs> I smoked them through the prophets. I slew them by the words of my mouth. For it is love that I desire, not sacrifice, and knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness, in the greatness of your compassion. Wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. It is mercy I desire, and not sacrifice. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. 
My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit. O a heart contrite and humble. God, you will not spurn. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. Be bountiful, O Lord, to Zion in your kindness by rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. Then shall you be pleased with due sacrifices, burnt offerings, and holocausts. It is mercy I desire and not sacrifice. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus addressed this parable to those who were convinced of their own righteousness and despised everyone else. Two people went up to the temple area to pray. One was a Pharisee and the other was a tax collector. The Pharisee took up his position and spoke this prayer to himself. Oh God, I thank you that I am not like the rest of humanity, greedy, dishonest, adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week, and I pay tithes on my whole income. But the tax collector stood off at a distance and would not even raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast and prayed. O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, the latter went home justified, not the former. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and the one who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. The gospel acclamation that we did not hear today says, if today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts, especially during this troubled times, these troubled times, let us open up our hearts to the Lord. The Lord will be there for us. We have to have that faith, the faith that Father speaks about with the capital F. The Lord will take care of his children, and we are all his children. Now we, we present our needs and our prayers to the Lord, and he will provide. That all members of the church may grow in love and knowledge of God through his grace and mercy, and let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That judges, juries, and law enforcement officials may be guided by God in balancing judgment with mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may heal and bind up the wounds of those injured or recovering from surgery or from the illnesses that this nation faces. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those gathering <coughs> here spiritually whose hearts are experiencing despair may be blessed with the consolation of God's peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died in Christ may return with, with the Lord to his glorious kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for any special attention that we may have, let us now offer it to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of the prophets, you call us back to you, this Lent, in need of your healing and merciful love. Grant these and all our prayers through Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, and our Redeemer, now and forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of humanity, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. acceptable to God, the mighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O oh God, by whose grace it comes to pass that we may approach your mystery with minds made pure. <coughs> Grant, we pray, that in reverently handling them, we may offer you fitting homage. Through Christ our Lord, amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. We pray, preface three of Lent. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful, our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so, we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it. Gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, the supper was ended. Took the chalice, once more giving thanks. Gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink of it. From it. This, <coughs> for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery. Laying your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered <coughs> into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Murano, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. 
guacamole. Into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother God, Blessed Joseph, <coughs> her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs with eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Today's holy sacrifice of the Mass is being offered for the soul of Mr. Bill Columbus. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the union of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, <laughs> Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. The Lamb of God, which take away the sins of the world, have mercy on you. The Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on you. The Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May we truly revere, O oh merciful God, these holy gifts by which you ceaselessly nourish us. And may we always partake of them with abundant faith in our heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. We pray the prayer of St. Michael. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly we pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, and by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Hold out to your faithful people, Lord, the right hand of heavenly assistance, that they may seek you with all their heart, and merit the granting of what they ask. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You go forth, the Mass is ended. And have a blessed day, always walking with the Lord, and He is here. He is in your heart.